All right, what's up, what's up? How you guys doing? It's Alex here from Prospecting Toolkit. I wanna to drop uh, this training on you. So this is about um, getting high intent leads with LinkedIn events, okay? Um, now, a lot of people haven't even heard of LinkedIn events or haven't used them at all. Um, we're not gonna be talking about making LinkedIn events and promoting them. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a different kind of growth hacking strategy here. Um, and it's an outbound strategy, as you can see here. So it's an outbound strategy using LinkedIn um, events. So let's go ahead and uh, dive right in. So outbound is not what it used to be. Uh, it's getting much harder uh, every single day. Spammers, as you as usual, have ruined it for everybody. Um, and so, you know, you, you can blame them. Um, so now what happens is we need to get very specific and high intent when we do our prospecting, okay? We can't just be like batching and blasting anymore. Um, it needs to get more specific and more targeted. So why LinkedIn events? Okay, you may be asking yourself. Well, um, number one, COVID created a huge trend uh, in virtual events. Okay, so all these uh, you know big uh, events that people, you know, trade shows and industry events were shutting down, and everything turned virtual. So LinkedIn responded by making uh, you know a LinkedIn events thing where people could host their own events and promote them within the platform. Okay. Um, Secondly, uh, people attending LinkedIn events have a specific intention um, and qualification level. So I'll explain what I mean by that. They have a specific intention because they're going to generally to learn something. It's sort of an educational um, webinar style training kind of format um, that, that, that kind of like prevails inside of LinkedIn events. Um, and of course, it's like a webinar, it's a lead generation uh, strategy, you know, to kind of teach and then lead them into the next thing. But um, they have some kind of intention of learning something and you can use that to your advantage, right? Um, the other one is the qualification level. Now, if someone's, you know, um, for example, if someone's learning how to, um, you know, uh, learn sales, it's a lot different than someone learning to scale up a sales team. Okay, like th those are two different qualification levels. Like you may not want to sell to that person that's learning sales, but you may want to sell to that person that's scaling a sales team or maybe scaling an enterprise sales team or scaling a, right? There's all these different levels to that. And so um, you're getting a, you know, a, a pre-qualification almost in a sense um, in, in your account-based kind of, you know, uh, prospecting, okay? Um, third, you can easily get the attendee list and scrape valid emails from these LinkedIn events. So you can get a list of everybody that's attending the event and you can go ahead and scrape out their emails. Um, and in this training, I'll show you exactly how to do that down to the, to the nitty gritty details. So how are we going to do it? Okay. How are we going to execute this? Okay. So number one is we're going to find relevant LinkedIn events. Okay. And I'll kind of go through a little bit on that, show you guys a relevant example. Um, it's going to be an actual campaign I'm running within this training. So um, you'll know, you'll see what I'm doing. Number two, we're going to attend. Okay. We're going to say that we're going to attend that. If you want to attend, you can, you can attend. Um, also great for market research here. You know, if you want to attend these kind of events, it's, it's, it's great, but you know, you can attend and then get the attendee list. Okay. So we're going to like say that we're attending and then you're able to access that attendee list. Okay. And uh, at third, we're going to scrape emails with prospecting toolkit. So once we have that attendee list in LinkedIn, we're going to go ahead and scrape valid email addresses with LinkedIn. I'm um, sorry, with prospecting toolkit and a couple other tools, okay? And four, we are going to send targeted cold emails. Now, I'm not going to bother with LinkedIn on this one. Um, their limits are getting kind of crazy in my humble opinion, and I'm a simple person. So um, I'm just going to keep everything super simple and just send cold emails out. And we're going to do that with a very unique system you may not have seen before. It uh, gets great deliverability. Um, and you know, a lot of people are just sleeping on this whole method. Okay. So like, they just, you know, it's, we're not a hint, hint, we're not using Gmail hint, hint, we're not using Outlook, uh, but hint, hint, we're not using SendGrid or one of those other things. So it's something in the middle and I'll, I'll be very excited to kind of show you guys that we're also going to write those emails, go through the whole process here and, um, and show you kind of start to finish what this looks like, um, and how you can be doing this, um, either as a sales rep, as an entrepreneur, as a, um, you know, business development, um, uh, manager, any, 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 whatever you role you're in where you need to be doing outbound prospecting and getting relevant leads into the pipeline uh, middle bottom of the funnel okay so this is going to work for you all right so i'm really excited to jump in let's go ahead and dive in and uh, the next videos will kind of walk you through the process and we'll go from there quick background uh using prospecting toolkit right now uh created a folder made a new list um and then i searched uh for linkedin events okay and I was looking for sales team because I want to sell a uh, commission only sales uh, program. So um, people that already, you know, have sales team may want to expand their sales team. Okay. 
Um, so I found this one right here that has 294 attendees. Okay, so I go ahead and click on it. Uh, it pops up with this. I'm using the prospecting toolkit email extractor right now. And yeah, as you can see, it's extracting um, the emails from this search. Uh, so it's gonna go through, it's gonna find as many emails as it possibly can through all of these um, you know, different profiles um, that we're seeing right now. And um, all these people are attending an event. Whoops. Um, all these people are attending an event um, about improving their sales team. Okay. Now, so this strategy is really, really targeted. Like these people are actively, they have, I mean, they have a sales team, number one, because this, this isn't how to build a sales team. This is um, the performance of your sales team, the sales team you already have, right? So, um, so they're extremely targeted in that way that they definitely already have a sales team. Um, I think that this is sort of really, really important when you're doing prospecting um, in the future here. And, you know, as we go through time is like, just making sure there's some kind of intention behind the data, right? Because you can go, uh, you know, over here to search, to search console. I mean, sorry, to uh, sales navigator, too many tools open um, to sales navigator. And I mean, you can do what I did here and, and using a group as kind of that common denominator, which I also am um, testing. Uh, but this, this kind of LinkedIn events thing is kind of next level because um, the people are actually using like, um, it's like a webinar. It's like an educational thing. So they're using LinkedIn as this kind of lead generation webinar system for themselves. Um, sales development excellence. This one's nice. Sales development excellence. Um, this could be a great one, actually. I'm going to go ahead and it's hosted by reply as well. So these people already know about generating leads and stuff. So basically all you have to do to do this is just click that you're going to attend the event. Okay. Now when you do this, you know, I just say not now, and then you get access and then it pops up with this and then you're able to get access exactly like we did in the other one. Um, where now I have all the people, um, a list of all the people. And as you can see, this is extracting prospecting toolkit and it's extract unlimited amounts of these contacts. So, um, you know, you basically just are going page by page, finding their email addresses. Okay, guys. So this is part one of this um, of this uh, of this training of this video, um, and so I'll, I'll move into part two where we actually write scripts around this and start to actually send emails. Um, but this is the first part. Um, go get uh, go get prospecting toolkit. Um, you know, hopefully sign up for the unlimited plan unless you want to be limited to three thousand contacts. Um, but as you can see, even pulling from sales nav, pulling from this, um, I'm able to pull a lot of contacts here and, and be able to actually do pretty big campaigns um, and keep them hyper personalized without any kind of first lines or anything like that, really, um, because you just don't need them because you're using an event that they are attending that you are also attending. As you can see here, I popped up in this one. Um, and that's that's going to be, you know, that's going to be a, a huge advantage, okay, um, to be able to just mention that. So we'll go into part two of the video next where we write the scripts and start to automate the, uh, the process. But I want to show you guys the prospecting um, process of using LinkedIn events. I think this is a huge hack. Um, that we're only going to see, you know, more of, of this kind of activity going on in the future because it's really, um, you know, it really does create a lot of intention around the list. All right, guys. So I've scraped, um, I've scraped a bunch of uh, both events and uh, also one group here. So I've got a really good little mixture um, of, of stuff. So um, now we're going to verify um, the emails, okay, because um, Prospecting Toolkit gives you this unlimited data for only 100 bucks, which is just insane how much data we're scraping right here for 100 bucks. Um, and, and obviously, we can scrape way more, so the value is just insane. But um, you do need to validate the emails, okay? And this is just pretty much for anything, in my opinion. You just need to validate the emails. You need to know, um, you know, that what you're doing is, is, uh, is solid, okay? So I'm grabbing a couple of lists here. Um, I'm going to save the best for last once I start scaling up. I'm going to use these more like test um, situations. And also, you know, you add it up and it's 238 plus 134 plus 319. I mean, that's a pretty decent um, number of people, actually. So um, and that's a good it's a good test to run. Um, okay, cool. So did that. I'm going to go ahead into, um, into just a, a Google Drive I have. Um, I'm going to grab... Uh, I already exported that one. I'm going to throw these three in here. You know, now obviously I could be way more, um, you know, and, and why don't I actually? I'm just going to like uh, do a little bit of uh, cleanup here. Put these in here. 
and you know I can even make like a used folder so that I know which ones I've, I've sort of sort of burned through already okay um, so why don't we start with improve the performance of actually let's start with event um, sorry with sales development excellence okay um, so we're gonna go ahead and open with Google Sheets now I, I admit I am not a Google Sheets expert so please don't uh, uh, don't hate on me too badly here um, probably some of you guys are way better than me okay so I'm, I'm just gonna do my ghetto thing here so as you can see there's just a bit of uh, there's just a bit of um, yeah, con confusion here um, as far as like a couple of things, okay? Now, I noticed a couple of these with domains. Um, we don't have uh, an email for. Um, what we could also do if we wanted to here is copy, um, for instance, that URL, uh, come over here to B2B contact enrichment, um, open that tool up, and, you know, we could like do this. Um, Again, this is what unlimited data uh, affords you. Now, of course, you could have a VA doing this as well. So, um, so let's go back and look at the uh, title, business development. I can't see the whole thing. Let's see, Bus business development manager. So we can do, um, we can do like this. Oops. Kill these. Business development manager. Um, and then, you know, we can try to scrape, um, scrape that directly. Okay. And so you'll see in here, uh, that it's running and, uh, you know, it's available soon. So we'll just, we'll just see how that, uh, how that goes. Okay. Uh, may find it, may not, but you can do that for each of these two. You could load those all into like one big list and just, you know, enrich those on the go, uh, and, and, and work on that. Um, I think it is a good thing to do. Um, in general so you know and here's someone at Clavio so there's some really good stuff in here now again we're pulling in a, a lot of gmails here uh, and, and things like this so we're hitting them on a very personal email address that may not be the best way to go um, again which I think is why um, you know kind of building a list of, of these like you could you could actually just I think copy this right here or you could go like this scroll all the way oops scroll all the way down and just um, grab to here you know what I'm saying and then uh, go back over here that's actually a better way to do it come over here um, so no contacts were found on that search that I did um, what we can do is just kind of go through here and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say um, I'm going to say, what are we mostly looking at? Sales, 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 lead generation, sales, 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 business development, sales. All right. So let's try um, business dev, let's try sales, try um, lead generation, try SDR, BDR. Let's try. Um, um, I think that's good because sales is going to cover a lot of those guys. So um, you know, let's try this out. So let's try to upload that. I uh, called it the same name accidentally, but uh, that's it's okay. You can just delete this one because it didn't it didn't come back with anything. Um, so we already found 26 contacts on this one. So we'll see how we go on that. Okay. Looking good. And so there's a couple of these. Usually I'll scrub through these and just, you know, like that one really didn't look like um, the data was correct. So that's a little bit funky. You know, Buzz is not BuzzFeed. 
for example. So like that guy, I mean, he doesn't even have an email. You know, nice kicks is fine. IGM doesn't even have All right. So, well, anyway, um, this is all fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. Um, now, obviously, you could be way more scrutinizing, but I'm just going to kind of like do what I can here and just grab this CSV, download that. And, um, and and call it a day on that one, on that spreadsheet, okay? And then I'm gonna go over here to Million Verifier. Okay, and I'm gonna try to validate um, or verify these emails, okay? Because uh, you just wanna make sure you clean, you always wanna clean your list, okay? So we'll come over here to Downloads. Um, go ahead and grab this latest one, which is what I just exported. Um, now again, you wanna, clean this up a little bit. I'm just doing this for the purposes of the video. Just do it quick and scrappy and just get it going. Okay, so we got 183 um, email addresses. Okay, so let's go ahead and start verify. Um, so that'll just start verifying there and um, start to verify our contacts and make sure that we pop out with a really clean list, okay? Um, now at this point, so let's start talking a little bit of strategy right now. And I'll probably break this into two videos, but um, so I want to be clear with you real quick on what we're selling. So um, this is Closeify. Um, it's uh, you know hiring commission only sales agents for your business, um, and they're killing it right now. I just did a podcast interview with the founder. He's absolutely crushing, um, and I'm really really impressed with just everything they're building. Um, so you basically, you know, I'm just trying to basically at the end of the day, drive traffic, um, to them and help them get some clients. Okay. Um, so this is going to be, uh, perfect right now, what we're going to do. So, so basically it's commission only sales reps. Okay. Um, so we want to think about strategy on this a little bit and start creating our campaign. Okay. Um, so I have a campaign running as you can see here. Um, and actually, um, got more replies than that, but wasn't tracking it properly. So anyway, uh, but, uh, but at the end of the day, yeah. So, so what we want to do first um, is go into prospecting toolkit, which is what I'm going to use here. Um, and I'm going to go to templates and I'm just going to start to build out um, some templates. I'm going to go to my um, Closeify and I'm going to open this up and I am going to um, name this template first, first thing. Okay. So I'm going to call the templates, um, Closeify. I'm going to call it uh, Sales Development Excellence Event. And then I usually just kind of do 1A, 1B, 1C for my tests and just kind of do it that way. Okay. So I just keep it kind of, again, pretty scrappy. And, um, all right. So since we're using Amazon SES on this um, campaign uh, or on this, um, yeah, on this uh, to send the emails, sorry, uh, we want to. Um, make sure that uh, we use an unsubscribe link um, with no confirmation, like it just unsubscribes them immediately upon clicking it. Um, and usually I just like to call this not interested and that goes under the footer and it just says not interested. And that way we like minimize spam complaints. We don't have people like looking to do something drastic. They just kind of click that link. It's done. Okay, cool. Can move on with their lives. Um, we also have spin tax built into this. So, I mean, spin, spin tax is awesome. And I, I use it liberally because um, it just makes every message unique in a very uh, organic way. Um, okay. So to dive into the actual creative of it, um, I think subject line. Okay. So subject line um, on this one, we've got the idea that we can use quick question. Usually gets a really good open rate. Um, on this one, we can also just say commission closers, in, in my opinion, or commission, commission sales reps. Um, and, and there's enough demand in the market to where this would, this may work really well. Um, we're not going to be tracking open rate, uh, which may sound kind of alien to everybody, but, um, the fact is we're going to judge everything off of reply rate and just try a couple of things to try to boost reply rates and, and response rates. Okay. Um, so, you know, we, we can do commission sales reps. Um, you know, sales is a bit of a spam word. That's the only thing. So we could do something like commission closers. Okay. Um, didn't say commission only closers. Okay. Um, and then we can come down here and we can start to write our message. So on this one, um, commission only closers, you know, I want to say something like, I, okay. 
now again you have all of your um, you will have all your macros here so I'm just going to use these um, you just choose a list now we don't have it loaded our list yet it's still verifying but um, this is kind of just this is what it's going to look like no matter what so um, it just depends on your list but yeah you want to pull in the right macros like for instance you pull this one in we have more um, but as you can see they're kind of the same first underscore name first underscore name so keep it simple um, okay so we're going to say hi first name um, uh, saw that we're both attending sales development excellence on LinkedIn. Um, okay. And then uh, you want to do ship return. I always double check the source code on these things because sometimes you just never know what's doing in the background, but you want to make sure that this is really clean. Um, I would learn some HTML if you can, because yeah, p p tag is paragraph. You just want this to be clean paragraph tags, otherwise it can get marked as spam really easily. Okay, little, little secret for you. Um, and you never know, like if you're copying and pasting from other apps and stuff, you could they could come in totally formatted and crazy. Okay, um, so you want to be careful about that. Um, so let's see here. I just want to ask a question. You know, and, and I had this idea actually last night. I was thinking about this, um, that I could do a message like this. And it's really, I, I've never done this before, uh, but this is definitely one of the tests I want to run. So something like a couple questions. Do you book 10 meetings, 10 plus um, sales meetings per week? That's one of the qualifying questions uh, that I'm asking. Um, and, you know, I don't. I don't want to format it that way. It kind of automatically did the bullets. Um, so let's do this again. So like this, put that like that. Um, and yeah, I can make it like, oh, uh, hmm. it automatically does that. Okay, again, I can go to the source code and look. I mean, it's still pretty clean. It is HTML. No one's going to like that too much, but curious how that's going to work. I just This is just a test I want to run. Our commission sales reps. Okay, so now I need to exit out of there by clicking or enter twice, and we're good. Okay, so at this point, this should pop up S as a P tag. Okay, and it's not being in a P tag, which is strange. So we may need to mess with that later in a second. Um, and, and really, that's the message. Okay, so I, did, I didn't. I don't want to overcomplicate this. I think that's it. Um, I want to do this. I want to say Alex Gray. Closeify. And my thought process is to actually, um, and I, I know I tell you guys never to link anything, and, and maybe I won't actually, because the domain, they'll type in the domain and it already redirects. So um, maybe I'll just leave that like that, okay? Um, and we're both, uh, da, 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 a couple questions. Um, I'd like to get more cheeky with it, like kind of funny with it. A couple questions for you. Do you book 10 sales meetings per week? So I like to think of writing scripts um, like you are at a trade show and you're talking to this person, okay, to their face. So it's like, hey, Joe, saw we're both attending sales development excellence on LinkedIn. Um, um, Great to connect. Questions for you. Do you book 10 sales uh, meetings per week? Yes or no? Do you need to hire commission only sales reps? Um, now, again, I could, this is kind of like bullet points. I mean, I don't know if this is a good way to go. It's, a, it's definitely a test, if nothing else, but I'm kind of curious how it would work if I just asked if they book 10 plus sales meetings per week. Um, and that would make it so much easier to answer the email. Um, but I also like, since we're speaking to salespeople, I'm kind of thinking like, do you need to hire commission only sales reps? It's like, they can answer either one of the questions, but you know what, I'm, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna kill this. You know what, it's kind of funny. I'm actually thinking that I will kill this. 
and say quick question for you. You need to um, And let's double check the source code again. Everything looks clean. Okay, great. Quick question for you. Do you need to hire any commissions only sales reps? Okay. So this is just great. It just it'll just get them to like, I mean, if they um you know, if they copy and paste the domain, they get over there and they check it out anyway. Um if if they answer directly yes or no, that's cool. Um, I think those are my two two tests though. One is pre-qualifying, asking them a qualifying question. Do you do you guys book um you know, 10, 10 plus uh, sales meetings per week. Um, and that, that would just start the conversation, okay? Um, okay, now I'm gonna use a macro here. Uh, probably not, I mean, again, I don't know. I'm just I'm just down to use macros uh, wherever I can, um, or like spin tax wherever I can. So with this, I, I definitely wanna do this and say, hey, hi, um, like that and, and just and just make sure that's a little bit different um, I also think that um, quick question for you can be spend uh, spun so quick question for you so do and then we can put a colon here um, and then we could do something like uh, quick one um, and we could do curious um, that, that to me that that's a good message. It's short. It's, um, you know, you know. I also, I mean, I could even spin that. I mean, this might be too much spinning to be honest. It's too many variables. You probably want to just spin one of these. In fact, I may just change this back to high, um, and I may and I may do something where it says, uh, you know, uh, uh, great to connect. Um, could do one that's like. Um, Hope Q4 is going great. Um, you know, I mean, again, right, oops, uh, again, this is kind of like I'm just, I'm just doing this. Um, you know, this is like we're not using first lines, we're not using real personalization here. So just, you know, something general, something friendly, something you would say at a trade show. Me, I uh, hope you're having a great day. You know, it's just like just something nice, something human. This tell, this gives us you know, enough um, to sort of work with. So we have our not interested unsubscribe link. We have our very short message that's um, the HTML super clean on. Yeah, we're all good. So I'm just going to update this template. And there it is. Okay. Um, so we can go ahead and clone this template. That'll make a clone. And then we can uh, open this up and we can make our little follow up. So my follow up on this uh, to A. Um, would just be like, um, honestly, I would just do something like this. It's going to be in the same thread. And I mean, honestly, I'm going to do it like that. And I may even just take out this whole thing too and do like Alex. Um, the thought behind this is just that I'm like bumping it manually and it just, it's like, it's just, it's just mega simple. Hey, like Joe, um, makes him go, what the hell, what did I miss? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and say that's fine right there. Um, and then let's clone that one more time and then let's uh, open that clone and let's do, um, something where it's like, hi, um, first name. And this is like a superpower. So do you know anyone that might be interested in this? Okay, so hi, first name. We connect, uh, you know, it might be too long with a vetted. We connect growing companies with vetted commissions, commission only sales closers. Okay, so it's another place where we could spin something. Um, I think we should spin it. Let's give it a go. And then we can say commission only sales agents only sales reps commission only 
sales closers. Okay, something like this. So I just get a feel for you know what what language people like the most, I guess, or just you know just just test this so every email is different. It's fine. It all means the same shit, right? <laughs> Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and update this template too. Let's just double check uh, the code again. Ooh, looks perfect. Um, let's also just um, sales call. Let's just double check everything. Okay, now this is something I missed. So this, um, I'm going to take this out because I want this to feel more, um, more personal. Okay, so I'm going to update that template right there. Also, I'm going to go back to 2A. Uh, because I made a mistake on that. This should not have an unsubscribe, okay? Because this is looking like a text. You don't want that to, to to have the unsubscribe. But the first message, if they want to unsubscribe, they should be able to, okay? So let's look at a preview generator. Let's just pull in this other list, and you'll see what this looks like. Now, obviously, it's going to have double spacing, but it just looks like this in the preview. So, hi, Michael. We can't go on. You know, anybody might change. Um, you know, the, and, and this looks fine, okay? To me, this looks great. Um, let's check number one. That's the one I want to see. Um, so let's just take a look at that. Okay, curious, curious, curious. This is only generating curious at the moment, uh, but it looks great. Curious to me. Say, okay, so this is this is. I think this campaign is looking great. I think these three emails should do um, should do the trick. Obviously, I can pull these people back into another sequence later. I can take a note of that. Um, but I think overall, I want to. Kind of keep it low key, okay? Okay, so 60% are okay. So let's go ahead and download the okay emails only. And so we'll just grab those, and this is our, our list. Um, so let's go ahead. So I just downloaded that. Let's go ahead and make a list. And you just go over here to lists, okay? So right out of our. Okay, great. Um, so then we're going to go to lists. Let's go ahead and go to my folder. Let's go ahead and create a new list, and let's call it event sales dev. Excellence. Okay, um, so we update this list, and then um, we can go ahead and import contacts. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and grab that thing I just exported from Million Verifier and load that in. Okay, now we just need to connect these things. So email first, um, email first, right? First name. Um, and really, all we need is that. We're not personalizing anything else but those. But uh, just just for Whatever sake, I'll throw in uh, LinkedIn. Okay, cool. Start importing contacts. <laughs> and here's this other thing that we that we uh, that we did, and it pulled in a lot of contacts because some of these contacts are sort of big companies. Um, so let's just see what that looks like. So Bioclinica, Clavio, these are all sales. Cisco, oh my God. I mean. This is a, too many contacts, in my opinion. Although they are kind of all different, and who the hell knows? Um, Citrix, also a giant company. Samsara, Linked Selling, Medtronic, Solar Edge. Okay, so there's a lot here. Um, there's a lot here. American Express. Okay, so. This is just stuff we, we need to kind of comb through this because these came through that uh, through that event, um, but that's definitely like another another list right there that we can that we can comb through, um, and I and I will later. That's a very good list, and it's all business addresses, so that's even better. And then yeah, let's go back to campaigns. So we have our list, we have our sequence. Let's just go ahead and set up a campaign. So I'm going to create this campaign. I'm going to call. Uh, you want to do sequence? Um, we're going to call this uh, event um, sales development excellence. Um, I'm going to say one because we have that other list, and that may be two um, if we want to do that way. Um, so this is going to be Alex uh, Closify. We're going to do, I usually do like 120 to 400. Um, I think it just kind of makes it it's random enough and safe enough. Um, you know, 400 seconds is... Um, yeah, some some a good amount of minutes. So anyway, I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna add in this folder. I'm gonna put it in that uh, folder. If the contact is duplicate, remove it. Um, I'm not gonna track clicks and I'm not gonna track opens. Now, you, some of you might ask me like, why are you not tracking opens? Well, 
The reason is because it kills deliverability. Um, and, you know, I, I just don't care that much about open rate, especially how um, sort of confusing they are now with iOS 15, iOS 14, whatever the hell it is, with Apple's whole tirade. Um, this is just becoming a, a liability, in my opinion. And I'd rather just test based on reply rates and get on calls and ask people, what did they like about the message or what did they hate about them? You know, like, like actually get feedback, real human feedback. Okay. This doesn't really tell you anything um, except that the subject line's working. And I mean, it, it subject line just doesn't matter that much. As long as it's short, as long as it's to the point, as long as it's pr fairly, you know, just, just straightforward, um, it'll be fine. Okay. So uh, that's my spiel on that. Pacific time. Um, I'm going to say, let's send 50 emails a day. Um, now we could send more uh, with the setup that we have, um, but I, I, this is a pretty small list and I'd just like to see what we see um, as we go. Okay, I'm not going to send on Fridays, okay, or Saturdays or Sundays um, because it's personal emails and stuff. Um, I'm going to try to keep this pretty low key. And then I'm also going to randomize this a bit. Um, again, this doesn't really matter. It's just up to, it's just something I like to do. Um, you know, take a break like in the middle actually that one no but then wednesday might take like a break in the middle of the day might do that and then um you know i'll go to like 7 p.m um a little bit after people get out of work okay email one um we're gonna make it this okay we're gonna add another one email two we're gonna make it this and finally we're gonna add another one and make email three okay um so we can we can um click this arrow and it kind of opens up and shows us what it looks like. So that's great. Just like double, triple check. These are the right emails and it all looks good to me. Okay. So then let's uh, go ahead and select the days. I'm going to send them like a week apart. Um, the follow-ups because the follow-ups aren't that important to be honest with you in my, in my humble opinion. Um, I mean, they are important overall, but like just Spacing them out this much doesn't bug the people, and that's really what I want to do. I want to kind of screen the people in the first part and then just like not bug them um, and, and make it kind of like a weekly thing, just following up and run multiple campaigns because, as we know, this is a pretty small list. So uh, I'm just trying to like run multiple campaigns. Um, this is 110 contacts, you know what I mean? We run like multiple, multiple campaigns at the same time. Um, and with your SES account, you can do that safely. Okay, so I'm not going to move the pro prospect um, in any of this stuff because you can make another list where this was like, you know, sales dev excellence leads or something, but um, I'm just going to say that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch that. So everything went fine. Um, you can see it's all here. Um, and let's go ahead and start the campaign. And so once you click this button, it's going to start running. Okay, we will see how this goes. So perfect, guys. That's how I set the campaign up. I'm going to run a couple other tests as well um, and try a bunch of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed going through the kind of thought process on this with me. And um, yeah, more on the way. All right, guys. Uh, so just wanted to share with you uh, guys some results um, from this campaign. And uh, it's, you know, for sending, you know, only 105 contacts here. Um, we got some decent results. So I want to share a couple of the replies that we got. So like, here's a few replies we got from, from these campaigns. You know, can you share more details? And, um, you know, he basically said, can you share more details to reply, which is, which is great. And then, you know, I kind of let, I kind of laid it out in bullets. Um, I think it would have been really much better in retrospect to kind of have said, you know, Hey, we should book a call and discuss this. Uh, so my bad there and just, you know, learning experience here. Like, but, uh, the wonderful thing is that when you can send a hundred emails and get, you know, um, three to five, you know, replies, even more, um, you know, with no personalization really, uh, you know, and, and still have the opportunity to follow up. I think, um, you know, there's just, you can create a lot of lead flow. So you can create a lot of these kind of replies where they're just, you know, asking these, these questions and you can lead it right to a call. Um, so, you know, you can always test different approaches. I tried the bullet, um, in the bullet list. Uh, approach here and um i mean it worked out okay i mean he, you know it, he didn't qualify so it's actually great we didn't jump on a call um and then um you know yeah so i ended up kind of doing a, a consultation thing with him uh, where i said how are you guys generating leads now and we ended up discussing for a while and um you know uh, it wasn't really worth a call but definitely um, pointed him in the right direction on a couple of things so it's pretty cool um just being you know this is what you want to do with any of this stuff just starting conversation um, provide value, help these guys out. And then, you know, follow up later on if you want to reach out to these dudes and see how they're doing and, you know, push them further to something that can work for them. Here was another reply. Hey, thanks for reaching out. Can you tell me more about your service and company? And uh, great, no, great reply. Absolutely great reply. Love replies like that.
Um, and I, I missed one here. Uh, yeah, and then there was this one. Yes, mate, how can you help? Um, so, you know, just uh, right time, right, you know, right time, right message, right place, all that stuff, you know. Um, there's a lot of like kind of syn synergy and luck involved, you know, synchronicity and stuff. Um, so, you know, it's just kind of like sending out enough messages to get some replies and see where those things go. Um, and yeah, if, if you increase the volume on this particular campaign, um, you wouldn't be too disappointed with the results, honestly. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be that bad. Um, you know, I think if you were to do first lines, it would do better. Um, but still, I think like the relevance of LinkedIn events was great. And yeah, just, you know, there's going to be a certain amount of people that are in market. So you just want to like go after those guys first, and then you can always like follow up with the rest of them later on. And like I said, check in and keep adding value and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so yeah, so we got a 3% reply rate, um, on that particular test with 105 contacts. Uh, again, I think that's not really a big enough sample size to say anything about anything, but, um, you know, five unsubscribed. So we, we avoided a bullet there five times, if you want to put it that way also, um, because we had that unsubscribe link on the first email and yeah, 3% reply rate, um, which, which, which is not terrible. So honestly, that can keep going up. That can vary. Uh, you know, if you send more volume, you can kind of test more. You can test personalized first lines. There's like a million ways that you can kind of push this into another um, stratosphere as far as, but starting with a 3% reply rate or almost 3% reply rate is fucking fantastic. Um, so in my opinion, yeah, this is how you want to run campaigns to start testing things, start trying things, see how it looks. And, um, you know, and, and just don't stop testing. Just keep trying to push it up and, um, you know, speak their language more. Try a longer message. Try a shorter message. And um, just do all you can to get keep getting results. So I hope this was super helpful. Uh, and that LinkedIn events will get you, like, a ton of leads and help you close some deals this, uh, this Q4 here.